Welcome to this edition of SAU Magazine, a weekly program featuring news, profiles, sports, commentary, interviews, and special events, all coming to you from the campus of Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Tabitha Taylor. And I'm Leah Stillman. The 2003 Murphy Lecture attracts a large audience. This year's speaker was Jeff Threadgold. He is president of a professional speaking and public service company. Threadgold spent much of his career with Key Corp, a financial services company. The Murphy Lecture is sponsored by the School of Business Administration and Murphy Oil Corporation in El Dorado. A survey is conducted on interactive course management. SAU professors have the option of using Blackboard in their courses. It allows students to see their syllabi online, in addition to taking tests and checking grades. According to the survey, 26 professors responded. 22 are using Blackboard in their courses. Some use it to post syllabi only, while others say students have difficulties accessing the system. SAU currently utilizes Blackboard Basic. A safety alert discusses problems with university vans. It comes from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. At risk for rollover are 15 passenger vans. When loaded with 10 or more occupants, the potential for rollover is increased threefold. New guidelines for travel include the following. Maximum number of occupants in vans will be 10, including the driver. All vans will be operated by experienced drivers. Also, cell phones will only be used by the driver when the vehicle is stopped. A virtual instructor certification program is offered. It is sponsored by the Department of Continuing Education. In charge of the program is Learning Technologies Partnership. First, participants will experience an online course from a student's perspective. It will include content, delivery, interaction, and assessment. Participants will also develop potential courses. The workshop is funded through a Teacher Quality Enhancement Grant and takes place next week in Wilson Hall. The Teaching Learning Center will host an education expert. Dr. Carmen Sanchez Sadek will work with teacher education faculty and students in June. Sadek will help teachers to communicate better with Latino and Latina students. She is sponsored by the Arkansas Department of Education's programs for language minority students. There is no charge for the workshop, but attendance is limited to 30. For further information, contact Dr. Mary Hamilton at the Teaching Learning Center. A small business seminar is planned. It will take place next Thursday at the Charles O. Ross Center in Camden. It is titled, Starting a Business in Arkansas. It is sponsored by SAU and the Washita Valley Business and Technology Development Center. The cost of the class is $20. That includes a meal and study materials. Items for discussion include startup requirements and potential pitfalls. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Leah Stillman. And I'm Tabitha Taylor. With an SAU profile, I'm Charles Bostic. And I'm Mary Ligon. Sigma Tau Delta is an international English honor society and is for any active English major or minor. It was founded in 1924 at Dakota Wesleyan University. Students must have a minimum of two college courses in language or literature beyond the usual requirements in freshman English. They need to have completed at least three semesters of college coursework. The Department of English and Foreign Languages covers the students' one-time initiation fee. At the induction ceremony, members receive a certificate and pen. At commencement, members can wear honor cords courtesy of Sigma Tau Delta. Membership is an outward recognition of personal accomplishments. Members receive a one-year subscription to the newsletter, which is published twice yearly. They also have the opportunity to contribute to the award-winning literary publication, The Rectangle. Student members are also eligible to compete for scholarships and awards. With an SAU profile, I'm Mary Ligon. And I'm Charles Bostic. SAU Sports, I'm Amanda Smith. And I'm Nick Davis. The men's baseball team took three of four games against Christian Brothers University in Magnolia over the weekend. The Mule Riders won both of Saturday's games and split the Sunday doubleheader. SAU also split a doubleheader with Dallas Baptist University on Tuesday. 
The baseball team will play their final conference series of the season Friday and Saturday. They'll play doubleheaders each day against Henderson State University. The Mule Riders are currently ranked 12th in the country in NCAA Division II. SAU football players begin spring practice for the 2003 season. They will practice Monday through Thursday each week until the last week before the annual Blue and Gold game when they will practice three days. The practices are designed to improve fundamentals as well as seeing how new players interact with veterans. SAU only lost three seniors last year. Coach Steve Quinn enters his third year as head coach along with his returning staff of offensive and defensive coordinators. SAU is defeated by Henderson State in women's tennis. The Riderettes lost 8-1, making them 3-15 for the season. Amy Thompson won her match in singles play for the sole SAU win. In doubles, Maggie Beeler and Jessica Burnett were defeated 8-0. The Riderettes next take on Washita Baptist University. The coach of the women's tennis team is Wayne Garner. The women's softball team continues their winning season with a three-game sweep of Washita Baptist University over the weekend. The Riderettes will play at home this Friday and Saturday against the University of Central Arkansas. SAU's Crystal Pullen received Gulf South Conference West Division Pitcher of the Week honors after she won two games over the weekend, one of them a shutout. The Riderettes are 12-1 in conference play. SAU Sports, I'm Nick Davis. And I'm Amanda Smith. With commentary, I'm Shelley Glover. And I'm Liz Matern. SAU students now have access to wireless DSL in the dorm rooms. While this may sound too good to be true, it is true, but it definitely isn't free. SAU has found another way to get what little money students may have. Students must purchase a network interface card for about $120. Since internet access on campus is extremely slow, DSL does sound appealing. But who can actually afford it? Students already pay an outrageous computer lab fee that is included in their tuition. How many people can actually say they're getting their money's worth? If students use their own personal computer, why should they have to pay extra for something they will never use? Even though SAU is offering upgraded technology for its students, why can't it be a luxury instead of another charge on our tuition? With commentary, I'm Shelley Glover. And I'm Liz Matern. With an SAU police law, I'm Jordan Babineau. The Student Right to Know and Campus Security Act mandates an annual requirement to provide notice about campus law enforcement, crimes on campus, and policies about crime. SIU policy is that all crimes should be reported to the university police. If not police, then someone. This report must include all crimes reported to campus officials, even if not reported to the police. If crime is reported to you, Encourage reporting to police. If refused, then encourage reporting to Office of Student Life. If refused, encourage them to go to Office of Counseling and Testing, especially in the case of rape and date rape to report. Provide what assistance you can. Obtain form from Office of Counseling and Testing for confidential reporting of crime. The form does not contain the name of the victim and will be used to compile campus crime statistics. Crime prevention is a concern in institutions of higher education. The following message is provided as a public service to the university community. In consideration for safety and well-being, faculty, staff, and students must follow university policy for entering and leaving buildings, after hours and on weekends. Doors should not be propped open nor left ajar during unscheduled hours. Individuals who are not staff or faculty should not be in buildings after hours. The administration also requests that all activities outside normal university hours be scheduled. Practicing these tips will assist in making SAU a safer campus. To report campus crime, or if suspicious activities appear to be taking place, contact the University Police Department at 235-4100. That's 235-4100. With an SAU police log, I'm Jordan Bavano. I'm Tammy Iverson with job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. The Upper Bound program is currently searching for workers. Applicants accepted will be asked to transport high school students to and from SAU for Upper Bound meetings. Applicants must be 21 years of age, have a valid driver's license, and a clean driving record. 
Those interested should contact April Blaskowski at 235-4164. The SAU Teacher Fair is being held next Wednesday between 1 and 4 p.m. in the Bruce Center. Representatives from schools in Arkansas, Louisiana, and Texas will be on campus to discuss employment possibilities in the public school systems. Education majors are encouraged to attend and bring multiple copies of their resumes. Students interested in alternative licensure should also attend. I'm Tammy Iverson with job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. With this week's entertainment news, I'm Misty Holling. And I'm Kyle Holliman. The Students Activities Board and Department of Art will co-sponsor the 10th Annual Wildlife Slide Presentation by Tom Allrich. The first presentation will be at 7 p.m. on Monday at the First Presbyterian Church on North Jackson. The second show will be at 7 p.m. on Tuesday in Room 208 of the Business Agri Business Building. This year's program will include new photographs from South America, East Africa, and North America. The slide presentation will last about one hour. The narration that Ulrich provides to accompany his slides is a combination of photographic techniques, an insight into animal behavior, and a guided tour into exotic lands. A freelance photographer, Ulrich has been published in National Wildlife, American Hunter, and numerous other publications. He is an active member of the Outdoor Writers Association of America. Some of his books will be available for purchase and signing. Spring Fling was held Wednesday on campus. Games, information tables, and drawings were held in the mall area. Students were able to register for residence halls for summer school or the fall semester, vote for their favorite candidate in SGA elections, and participate in games and activities provided by the Student Activities Board. On hand to entertain the audience were Encore, Brandy Beerbaum, who was Miss SAU 2003, and local music group Freshwater Collins. Food was provided by Aramark. The Department of Theater and Mass Communication holds an afternoon with Encore and Dance Workshop on Tuesday, April 29th in Harton Theater. This will be the last show of the season. The Dance Workshop is being presented by the Dance and Stage Movement class and will be an interactive workshop with audience participation. The Dance Workshop will begin at 12.45. Encore will perform at 2 o'clock. And that's this week's entertainment news. The SAU Broadcast Journalism degree program features a wide variety of professional experiences. Students are responsible for producing and marketing radio and television programs each semester. SAU Magazine, a radio news program, is available to stations in Arkansas and bordering states. The SAU Report, a television interview program, is available to cable systems in southwest Arkansas and northeast Texas. More than a dozen courses are offered in the SAU Broadcast Journalism degree program. Writing, reporting, and hands-on experience are stressed in these courses. In addition, graduating students are more perceptive analysts of mass communication and broadcast journalism. They are very competitive in the job field and for opportunities as graduate students. Information about the Broadcast Journalism Degree Program can be found on the internet at saumag.edu. That's saumag.edu for an excellent educational opportunity. With this week's SAU calendar, I'm David Parkerson. And I'm Ross Sims. Monday, April 21st is the final date to change in complete grades in the Office of the Registrar. The Greek Days Greek Awards Banquet will also be held. On Tuesday, the MBSF will host a cookout at Lake Columbia at 6.30 p.m. Wednesday is Administrative Professionals Day. Student refunds are available in the Business Office. Thursday is advanced registration for sophomores with 30 or more credit hours. The 7th Bean Coffee House is open for business at the Chi Alpha House from 8 p.m. until midnight. Friday, student timesheets are due. Sophomores with 30 or more credit hours may advance register. State career development events for horse, forestry, and dairy cattle will be held by the Agri Department. Saturday, praxis exams will be held in Wilson. The BCM will conduct their spring awards banquet. And that's this week's SAU calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.